Hey guys, welcome to Village Vanguard. We're gonna show you what this store has in comparison to the Pokemon Center. Is it better? You tell me in the comments below. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm currently in Village Vanguard, as the title says, and I'm here to see if it's similar to the Pokemon Center because I hear they have a lot of Pokemon items in here. Now you might be wondering why Village Vanguard or what is Village Vanguard? Well, let me tell you, Village Vanguard is a shop similar to those shops in America that you would see in a typical Japan town or you know your Japanese anime shops where it has a lot of different shows, Japanese shows, characters all placed into one location. Pokemon, as you can see behind me, exists here. Now the special thing about Village Vanguard is they also have Pokelid items, that's right. Our first location to find Pokelid merch right here in my city. Really excited to see what type of items they have and whether it's better than the Pokemon Center because the Pokemon Center doesn't have Pokelid items. It's missing out. After this tour, I want you guys to comment down below whether it's better or worse than the Pokemon Center. Also stay tuned because we're gonna have a giveaway at the end of this video. Village Vanguard, hair clips from the Pokemon Center. So it's pretty legit. There's a big variety. I can't tell if they're the literal ones that we've seen in the stores, but there are hair clips. Let's go further. A big difference is they have candy here and American candy, stuff you can't see in Japan. So, like nerds, and well, that's Korean candy right here. This is exciting to see right here. Nerds candy. Ooh. Haven't had those in a long time. We found our Pokemon section, and what's crazy is they have so many variety of plushes, it's not even funny. I mean, it's not the Pokemon Center, but it's damn near close. Look at all this. Started off really quickly, we have what feels like they're, wait, is, I thought they were connected for a second. This is Mew, Slowpoke, Eevee, Pikachu, and they are the ones that lay down. Very, very soft cuddly guys. They almost remind me of the Pokemon Center plushes. I think they are actually. Most places actually, fun fact, don't have Pokemon Center items, but this definitely looks like a Pokemon Center item. Remember those fluffy characters? I think this is literally that. So I believe they have licenses to Pokemon and that's why they have so many items here. He even grab socks here. Pokemon monsters or pocket monsters it says. I've never seen these in the Pokemon Center. So perhaps these are a little one-off, but Charmander, Pikachu. This sign, actually, I just noticed Litwick on this side and Muna and Ditto. That's a hard looking Ditto to capture, but they got Diglett forms over here. I think that's from the new game. The fact that they chose those Pokemon to put on there, that's interesting. Let's play a game called Knockoff or Not. I'm going to show you a Pokemon. You tell me if it looks like the actual Pokemon or a knockoff. So. We have Venusaur here. Knock off or not? Not. <laughs> Looks pretty accurate, doesn't it? Looks pretty accurate. And for 2800 that's not a bad price. Looks cool. I've never seen. The Pokemon Center doesn't have the ones this size. They're a little smaller. Knock off or not? Doesn't look as good. <laughs> I agree. The nose and the face looks a little strange, don't you think? Yep. <laughs> but only 2000 yen. 20 bucks. And the arms might be stuck to his body, they are. I would classify that as knockoff. I wish we had this before. Uh, then we could have put it on all our lids in Miyagi with the Lapras lids. This item's definitely not from the Pokemon Center since it's by Takaratomi, so a different company. But it still looks cool. This Umbreon I've never seen, but this has to be Pokemon Center material. Looks nice. Looks nice. I would get that. Man, I really want that. How much is it? 2860. <laughs> it's not a bad price. The Poke Piece series is right here, which was recently released in the Pokemon Center. So the fact that it's here, they absolutely do get Pokemon Center items here. So you might find some gems here. I like Eevee here because they have literally every Eevee evolution, I think. Eevee, Flareon, Jolteon, Vaporeon, Glaceon, Leafeon, Umbreon, Espeon. Where's Sylveon? It's hidden somewhere. Let's go look for it. I know I've seen it. Oh, there it is. It's down here. Sylveon. 
upper row if you go, you got Suikun, Raikou, and Entei. Yep, Entei's right here. So they got all the legendaries up here. Hobo, Luhia, Mewtwo, Mew, Zapdos, Moltres? Come out, Moltres. There's Moltres. You can't see it because Zapdos is winged. There's Moltres. And Articuno's right here. Their collection's based off of popularity. They got the starters for the most part around this area. And then you have the most popular Pokemon, so like a Vulpix, that looks like a knockoff actually. <laughs> Shaman. And then you have Zerua here, it also looks like a knockoff. Raichu, Pikachu. And then you have all the Eevee evolutions here, and then legendaries at the top. So I think obviously they picked specifically for people to buy. Ooh, I've never seen this before. It's a Blissey. Good for Fukushima if you ever go. There's a new lid actually in Fukushima with Blissey on it. And this Ludicolo looks so weird. It looks so super weird. It's so big. We have the real one from the Pokemon Center. This doesn't look too accurate. Dendene. It's cute. It's small. It's small. It, it, it really reminds me. <laughs> oh, it's the Monpoke. Monpoke. Uh -huh. So like the Pikachu looks like this. The Monpoke Pikachu and then the Dendene. This is from the Pokemon Center. Yep. I know that. These are for the kids version, like for the little kids. They have Cosmog here, which we saw at the Pokemon Center too. What's your favorite plush that you see right now? Right now? Right now. This guy. Lapras? <laughs> it's a good choice. This guy, definitely. <laughs> Should buy it. Damon! Who's got this in the Pokemon Go? Oh wait, Celebi's right behind. Whoa! Speaking of legendaries, <laughs> they're in plastic and they're like <laughs> air wrapped in there. They're so tight, they're like squished. I think you open it, his wings are gonna explode. <laughs> he might be bigger than actual size right here. Mime Jr. Never seen a Mime Jr. before. That's a pretty cool looking one. I expected the colors to be a little different, but you know what? That's very cute. And for the price, oh, it's a Mon Poke 2400. So it's from the Pokemon Center. I've never seen this one at the Pokemon Center. Arceus. Huge. Uh, very ugly looking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that doesn't look as correct. It's because it's the Takara company. It's a different one. It's not licensed by Pokemon, so a little different. So you got you hit or miss here. Some are good, some are bad. Dratini's huge. Like, this is the thing. You have a Dratini this size, and then if you put it right next to Raichu, like, that doesn't seem accurate. But if we leave the plushes alone and go to our right, we get to some new items that I haven't seen before. We have some little mini characters here, which you could buy for an expensive price of $16. That's pretty high. And then you got Gengar. What is this? This looks like a keychain. I thought it would open. Oh, yes. I think it's a puppet. You can... Well, let's find out. What? Oh! <laughs> What's coming out of him? <laughs> what is that? Do you put your keys inside? You, you put your keys in there. Oh my god. That's a new way. Oh, I see. It's a key cover. So you take your key and you pull it out of his... Uh, nice. Like this. Oh god, what am I doing? What am I doing in my life? No key? No? And then we have... Looks like uh, another... It's like a key chain, basically, that you put in your bag. You got Gengar, you got Pikachu, Jigglypuff. Scraggy. Then you got these, which definitely come from the Pokemon Center. I know that I've seen the Morpeko keychain. We got a Riolu keychain in the back too. These also are from the Pokemon Center. Yes, key holders or badge holders. That's I use one of them as. Though they don't have the Pikachu, but they do have a good variety of items here. This is a tissue holder apparently. It's a cover for it though. So you just put the Pikachu on there. I think you lift up, tissue comes out. I believe. Bag. Not a Pokemon Center bag, but looks cute. Maybe you buy it. Mew. These are hard though. Listen to them. Then you got the mini versions of them right here. I think I'd rather get a mini one if I was into these bags. Stickers. These are from the Pokemon Center. And 600 yen. They don't, they don't mark up. So that's good. You know that you're getting the same value. Less crowded location. It's a good alternative to going to a Pokemon Center. Look at these. Pencil cases, bags, you name it, they have it here. Metamon, that's ditto. Gengar, we had Pikachu on the far side. And then these are pencil holders. And these are from the Pokemon Center too. Remember these guys? You got your Pichus, Pikachus, and the jellyfish. This is different and new. These are socks inside of this bag. So the bag is like here, good example right here, the Denene bag. 
looks very fuzzy and soft and I imagine there are socks inside too so this is a very very could be comfortable socks I like this it looks very nice cute too good Christmas gift there's also Mimikyu socks and one more of course Pikachu socks they really designed signs here really nicely someone drew these so you got Village Vanguard you got Sobble here you got Grookey here Score Bunny right here and they have little messages for you if you can read <laughs> Cool. That's so cool that they have these. And Jirachi right here. Oops. Interesting cups. How much? 700 yen. So $7 for cups. You can't see the details. They love plastic here. It's so hard to see. But basically this is a bunch of green Pokemon on there. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Yeah, you can sort of see the Pokemon upside down. The yellow Pokemon. Purple Pokemon right here. And the pink ones. Eevee socks. Well, that's a cute sticker. Pikachu all over that. This is a stand. Like these things can stand up by plastic or something and you get one of 24 different ones inside. So it's sort of like a lucky draw. Which one will you get type of thing for 500 yen. Looks like they got more socks here. It's like sock heaven. <laughs> you got a Piplup sock, Eevee sock right here, and Snorlax sock. What is that? Is that a backpack? It's a backpack. It's a ditto backpack. Well, that's interesting. It's not the most accurate ditto, but it's cool if you want something cheap and uh, There's no quick. space. <laughs> you could put like a piece of candy inside. Mm -hmm. Score Bunny's got a backpack. That's a cuter one. Oh no, his face is a little long. But I like the concept and the idea. Charmander backpack. I know people would love that in America. That is pretty cool. Even if his face is a little like nose like a turtle, it's still a Charmander backpack. Well, they do have a Pikachu backpack. So this is what it would look like if you put it on your back and he'd be basically facing outwards. Obviously, you would hope they're not facing into you like this, like what the heck. But the funny thing is, you don't put stuff on the outside, you put stuff on the inside and then you put that on your back, which is interesting and different for a backpack. But Makes sense because you don't want the Pokemon facing, you know, your body. Hair clips here. I don't think I've seen these in the Pokemon Center. And this might be some cute slippers we could have in our house. Ooh. But I saw something else cuter. This. The Mon Poke. Peaceful. The Pokemon Peace. You remember the Score Bunny? Cute Score Bunny? Let's see. Cute clip. I like this design. This is from the Pokemon Center. So they have the items. This is not from the Pokemon Center. That Squirtle looks weird. Biggest Lapras we've seen yet. How much does it cost? It actually looks real, first of all. So it might be from the Pokemon Center. And second, let's see the value. The value is 3,278. Wait, what? That's a real deal. That's a steal. <laughs> I guess it's time to take this with us. We have one more section, which is the section that I really wanted to see. And that is the Poke Lid section. We're gonna go one by one to show you what they have here. Starting off, we have stickers from different regions, right? So stickers are at the top row. If we're looking very carefully, we have a sticker from Iwate, Tokyo. It's uh, Iwate again, Fukushima, Tokyo, Totori. Poke Lid stickers right here for how much? 300 yen. And you get to choose which one you like. You can see it. The second thing they have are these pins. So, the difference between the pins and the stickers, well, the image is the same, but the difference is they come in these boxes, as you can see here, these boxes here. And each box is set for a different region in Japan with different lids. So like Niigata lids, these four right here, they have Magikarp on them. Totori lids, we got Sanshu lids. So the reason I bring up these boxes here is you can get any one of these boxes, but you don't know what you're gonna get. You're gonna get one of the items that is listed here. So. If you want something from Fukushima, you have to buy this box for 300 yen and hope to get one of these eight. These red boxes are the keychains and the ones I like. I like the keychains. So you can see here we have an Iwate keychain. It's an example. They show you. Awesome keychain, honestly. And here we have a Fukushima keychain. Both lids I've actually been to. Now the thing is, similar to the pins, you have to buy a box for 700 yen, so a little more expensive to get one of the nine. So here you got the Fukushima ones. Here you have a Miyazaki ones. 
So really, you look for your favorite one and you hope to get it. You can't really buy and choose, which is a little unfortunate. Yellow ones. What are the yellow ones, do you ask? Well, similarly, you have to get a one out of nine chance, 200 yen only though, to get the lid that you want. But this random draw is a little better because I like the images. They are huge postcards. That's right. So you could send these to your friends. You could, you know, gift them. They're really cheap too, 200 yen. So really good buys. If this video gets to like 100 likes, I'll send a couple of these out to some of you subscribers. So like this video, we'll send some postcards out. The thing is you get a cup with a topper. So it looks like this. You got a geodude, you got a squirtle. There's different ones from each lid. And there's online, there's so many different varieties. The stores, they don't have them all. So you sort of got to get lucky with the store. But like this one right here is the Miyazaki one, which we saw before actually. It actually gives you the region on oh, the back. Oh, and yeah, it actually tells you where in Miyazaki we had to go to get it. And then, and it bonus. also comes with a topper that looks like the lid and it's colorful. You can put it on top or I think it'd be a coaster underneath as well, which would look like this. How neat. Ah, so the cups are only $20. Not a bad deal, honestly. But now we've gone from pins, stickers, keychains, my favorite, and postcards and cups. What's next? There's another item that's worth even more, almost $100, and that's these things down here. These are official plaques of the lids, sealed with an awesome embroidered box. It's heavy too, super heavy, but this box has a nice poke lid seal on it, and it's like carved out of wood right here. It's beautiful actually. Carved. It's beautiful masterpiece. And on the other side, you have a plaque, a very heavy metal plaque of the lid of your choice. So if you choose a geodude lid, or they have another example here, the slow poke lid as an example, both of which we've seen, then you can buy them. But they range, some are rare. So some like the Pikachu lid or the Gyarados lid are very hard to come by. So this ranges from $50 to over 100 depending on rarity. So I think these are really important to someone to buy. I have not bought one myself, but maybe one day. Now, like I said, they don't have them all here, but they definitely have them online. So you check out Village Vanguard's website and you might be able to buy some. Or if you really want, let me know in the comments below and I can go and search that website for you because I do have a Japanese address. These things, these are the final things that they have here. It looks like a, it looks like a Pokeball basket. Maybe for carrying things, I'm not entirely sure. It looks like a hamster wheel for sure. Uh, I wouldn't guarantee that that's what they use it for. Then you got a Uchi Pikachu. So a singing Pikachu right here. So these toys are not Pokemon Center related. But then if we go lower, there's a seat cushion here. And then we have the, oh wow, that's like a Pokedex with all the Pokemon, all 898 Pokemon right here. That'd be a pretty cool buy, actually. It's so thick. That is huge. So much information in there. And this one has 401 Pokemon, I think. Still big. And this one also 898. They got some hidden Pokemon items down here. It's really the lucky draw stuff. So you get, you know, little characters here. Uh, Pokemon characters, anyways, in this area. Then you have the characters, like, like the actual character in the game and his Pokemon which is for 500 yen, you have an opportunity to get these ones. Same with this, you get, you know, the girl version of the game, Pokemon. Oh, these are really good. These lucky draws yet again. You can get the Eevee evolutions. Ludicolo there. Ludicolo looks fun. You got candy. It's little jars with Pokemon on top. That's the Pokemon section. Very small section of the store. It only goes for a couple rows here, from down there all the way to here. For the end of this video, we're just gonna show you a little bit of extra of items in this store just to get you a visual of what else Village Vanguard has.
the backpacks are like that. All right, that was Village Vanguard. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. It's not necessarily the Pokemon Center, but let me know if you liked it and enjoyed it. And if you think it's better, or is the Pokemon Center better? Let me know in the comments below. I really want to know. I'll see you guys in the next video. It's going to be exciting. Merry Christmas. It's Christmas time. And a Pokemon Center video is coming soon. Also a lit video. Later.